Uh, let's get back over to Mark now for more on our first alert weather. That was a big nor'easter back there. I mean, so yeah. much. But I saw gusts uh, in Boston at Logan Airport were about 70 miles per hour, 68. That's intense. Meanwhile, Pretty strong even for them. Meanwhile, yeah. today I took the dog for a walk, and nice it was again. it was it, you know it's remarkable. Usually when it's uh, you know if it's clear. Uh, and sunny in December, it's going to be really, really Chilly. cold or windy, yeah. but it was calm and, and really, really nice. The wind has backed off. Right. Now, tomorrow it'll stay calm, Okay. except it'll go pretty foggy. We got a lot of dense fog. Look at that pretty view. Look at the uh, Newport, Bioquina Bay. Look how the Bay Bridge is just kind Gorgeous. of floating in the fog oh, there. Yeah. Uh, you folks, what is your current temp? 53, so it's a pretty mild fog for December. Kind of looks like summertime, doesn't it? But uh, we think fog will also develop here in the valleys. That's the view from our Willamette Valley Vineyards camera, a little wine pod working there. But um, 46, I think it'll be very gray there tomorrow. Right now, we can see where the fog is. It's around Eugene in the valley, a few spots along the coast. And then it never cleared today. Kelso Longview, you folks were stuck under the gray all day. I think that'll be the case here along the whole I-5 corridor tomorrow. I think fog will fill the valley. The reason it's different tomorrow than today, we lose any effect from the uh, dry air coming in out of the gorge. Basically, the, the east wind, it's not totally shutting off, but there's not enough dry air coming in to keep us clear. So. Longest day of the I'm sorry, it's not the longest day of the year. It's the longest nights of the year, shortest days of the year. The sun is just so weak right now. It just can't warm up the ground at all. So you see Scapoose, you're down to one quarter mile visibility. All right, so what do we see now through Christmas week? So we can actually look and kind of see general trends now up through eight or nine days. Uh, mild weather pattern continues. There's no sign of valley snow or ice. Sorry, kids or parents that want a little bit of snow for Christmas. Not going to happen. Uh, gloomy tomorrow in the valleys, light wind. You're going to want to go above about 2,000 feet. So top of the coast range. And also up in the Cascades will be totally sunny up on Mount Hood. Should be beautiful up there. Fog and clouds probably staying put most of the day. Let's just say that. And then if we get lucky, maybe it does break out at 2 p.m. and we get a little bit of sunshine. No one's going to complain. Two spots of wintry weather. One is in the Cascades on Friday, four to eight inches of snow. Could we get to some freezing rain in the gorge either Sunday night, that's Christmas Eve, or into Monday? There is a small chance. But the moisture has to show up, and it has to be cold enough. I'm not, I'm not confident either one of those happened. I mean, we'd have to get both of them for that to happen. So we'll see about that. But we'll be watching that closely. That's the only wintry weather. Look at this split in the jet stream. Most action going up into Alaska, and then a second part is coming way down here, giving California a bunch of rain, which they desperately need and want. But that leaves us high and dry here. So again, you can see the low clouds really fill the valley in our model forecast tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, still pretty gray in the valleys, but sunny in the mountains. St same also in the Columbia Basin. And then we've got one wet system coming through on Friday. It's already here by daybreak Friday. A lot of snow in the Cascades, shifts east of the Cascades. By Friday evening's commute, the last one before Christmas, looks, looks pretty mellow. And Saturday looks like a nice day. Take a look at the forecast then for Portland. I'll call it a pretty gray throughout the daytime. If we get lucky, there'll be enough easterly breeze out of the gorge. Maybe the east metro gets some sunshine. We'll see. Otherwise, calm wind. Three-day forecast. we got a rainy Friday start. Later Friday, not so wet. And then Saturday is nice and very little wind the next three days. We think a weak system could give us rain, uh, some rain showers coming up Sunday evening, Christmas Eve. Maybe. We'll see. It may not get close enough. Monday, Tuesday. Weather system is very close to us, just offshore. Could give us showers, but mild temps. Look at that highs back in the 50s, the middle of next week.